to Janet's planet where we are traveling at the speed of thought. Come with me on an out of this world adventure journey! <laughs> everybody. We are on our way to meet up with NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, which is on its way to Pluto. Isaac and I are super excited, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, Janet, I set up the think drives. We're ready. Can we go? Can we go? Oh, you bet we can. What Isaac is talking about is that here on the Janet's Planet spaceship, we don't really travel with normal kinds of fuel. We actually use the power of our thoughts to take us wherever we want to go. Truly, it's the most powerful fuel of all, our very own imagination. We like to call it think traveling. Will you help us? <gasps> yes. <laughs> nice. All right. So here's what you do is just put your fingers right here by your temples. You're going to shake your head. Just, oh, do you feel all of that energy just coursing through? Okay. We are about to think travel, which means all you have to do is just think about where you want to go and we will get there. Ready, set, go. You know what? Nobody really knows what we're going to find when New Horizons actually arrives at Pluto. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could write Pluto a letter explaining what we think the spacecraft might actually see. Yeah, that's a great idea. A hypothesis letter. I'll go get some paper. A hypothesis letter? And you can write one too. With the help of a grown-up, just write your letter to Dear Pluto and tell Pluto what you think that New Horizons might see, find, or discover when it gets there this summer. Find out all the information you need right there at JanetsPlanet.org. Okay, hey, Janet, I got some paper and some pens oh. so we can write the letter to our friend Pluto. Let me grab Pluto. my glasses. All right, fantastic. All right. Yeah, we should write a letter. All right, so what should it say? It should say, Dear Pluto. Dear Pluto, all right. You are my favorite dwarf planet. You are my favorite. And do you think it's still going to be a dwarf planet after New Horizons gets there? I hope it's a real planet oh. one day. All right. And so then say something like, I never stopped believing in you. Oh, that's so sweet. I never stopped believing in you. All Love, right. Jenny and Isaac. Love, Janet and Isaac. Oh, that's a great letter. You want to draw out a picture? Yeah. Ah, you too can draw Pluto a picture. Yeah. Just hashtag it, Dear Pluto, or send it to us at Janet at JanetsPlanet.com. <gasps> oh, 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 the Thermo Stakerizer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> New Horizons. There it is. Wow! I see it. I see it. That's so cool, Janet. It's so beautiful. It is. New Horizons is a spacecraft that's been in outer space since January 19th, 2006, when it blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Whoa. And you know what? It what? will make its closest flyby of Pluto this summer, July 14th, 2015. Whoa. And it's been in space for nine and a half years. It's looking pretty good for being out in space that long. Yeah, real good. <laughs> hey, Janet, what's all that gold stuff on the side? And who's flying it? What if it breaks? Or, you know, how long is it going to be out here? Does it have Wi-Fi? Or how do you take photographs with it and send it back to Earth? Well, those are all very great questions. And I'm not sure I know all the answers. But the good news is I've got a good friend named Alan Stern, who's the chief principal investigator of the entire New Horizons mission. And I bet he would be happy to answer some of our questions. Yeah, yeah, let's call let's him. Let's call him. All right, here we go. And, oh, hey, Alan. Hey, how are you? Well, you see, Isaac and I are out here in the Janet's Planet spaceship, and uh, we actually caught up with New Horizons. Oh, it looks great. You'd be really super proud. <laughs> and uh, Isaac has some questions that we're hoping you'll answer for us. Awesome. What's all that gold stuff on the side? The gold stuff on my spacecraft? <laughs> 
It looks like gold foil or tin foil, but it's gold. It's actually a multi-layer blanket that keeps the spacecraft warm without having to use too much power for heaters. And embedded in it, this is the coolest part, embedded in the multi-layer insulation is Kevlar, the stuff they make bulletproof vests out of to keep meteorites from piercing into the spacecraft. Is that cool? Wow! How fast is the radio signal from New Horizons traveling back to Earth? The signals that go back and forth, the radio signals to communicate, travel at the speed of light. They're going so fast that they could go from the Earth a quarter million miles away to the moon in less than a second and a half. But to get to New Horizons, it takes four and a half hours one way and four and a half hours for New Horizons to radio back. Right. We absolutely love the story of Venetia Burney Fair. Talk a little bit about how you honor her in this mission. I actually found a way to get in contact with her. And to honor her role, being a school kid that had actually named a planet, we took one of the instruments on New Horizons and named it for her. It's the instrument that college students built called the Student Dust Counter. It counts meteoroid impacts on the spacecraft as we move across the solar system. And now it's not just called the Student Dust Counter, it's called the Venetia Burney Student Dust Counter. And we're really proud of that. I love that Venetia Burney fair. She was only 11. How on earth does a space dust counter work? Well, you can imagine, like when a pebble strikes your car, you hear that snap, right? And basically the student dust counter is listening electronically for those snaps on the spacecraft, but caused by much smaller things than pebbles, grains of sand, or even tinier than that. And it can detect them, and, and it can register when the hit occurs and how powerful it is, and then it sends that data back to the Earth. Is it ever coming back to Earth? Uh, that's a great question because nobody ever asks that one, but it's so obvious. Um, New Horizons was launched in 2006, and it's never coming back. It's going so fast that it's leaving our solar system. It's powerful enough to escape the gravity of the sun and fly out into the Milky Way galaxy. And it, it will never come back to Earth. It will be out in space forever, even longer than the Earth will last. After the sun becomes a red giant in billions of years, New Horizons will be way out there. Wow, that's amazing! What do you think New Horizons is going to find when we get to Pluto? The thing is, we don't know. I think that's the best part. The best pictures of Pluto are just little smudgy dots. Um, if we had a picture of the Earth like the best picture of Pluto, you wouldn't even see North America. Amazing! Think of, think of Pluto as like a Christmas present under the tree. Oh, yeah, I love Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Uh, we go all out. You can shake that box as long as you want. You don't know what's inside until you open it. And we're opening it in July when the spacecraft New Horizons gets there. Well, I know that I can certainly speak for Isaac and myself, and we say thank you for spending so much good time with us today. Oh, Janet, thanks for making my planet better. Bye, Alan. Thank you so much. Yeah, he sure was so nice. Thanks for calling him, Janet. Oh, so nice and so super smart. Mm -hmm. I even learned some things. Yeah, me too. I'm going to put some stuff that I learned in my dear Pluto letter. Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, maybe you could include some fun facts that you know about Pluto in your letter, and we can all learn from each yeah. other. <laughs> Let your mind revolve around this thought. The universe is always expanding. Let your mind do the same. And that's the view from Janet's planet. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.